Okay, Nelson Chamisa, spokesperson, gift of status, seemingly supporting the minority group, which are in the documentary that was done by Bus Stop TV. The minority group that I'm talking about are the people of the LGBTIQ, and plus uh, whatever the name they call them. I want to say this because I believe that I hear a lot of, I mean, ZANPF when they are attacking the opposition, whether it was MDC or other, they say they want to sub, they get support from America, they get support from America, and they um, they they are they are handled by the West or they are uh, lap dogs of the West, and sometimes they don't have evidence to prove that, and also on the other side you see the opposition saying that. Zanu PF is handled by the is handled by the Chinese or the Russians, and some some of these things are evident. You see, uh, Chinese they are beating up our own people, and some Chinese they get preference over Zimbabweans, which is unfortunate. But here is where I draw the line. Where I draw the line is the rule of democracy is majority rules the minority. So in the in the case of ZANU-PF allowing Chinese to come and they rule over us as the majority or as the black majority, then it's a, it is a problem which is not supposed to be allowed to continue in our society. But I have a problem because I see this documentary that was done by Bastop TV, which is trying transcending the box, which talks about trans people or transgender people. The problem that I have is we don't have so much history of transgender people in Zimbabwe, but it is a new thing that is coming and people are doing it because one, if you look at the people that are of trans or the, 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 the people of, um, uh, of same sex, Vashroma or Notambura, very few are, are struggling. So people, they do it, much of them, they do it for money. They do it because they know that uh, the people that they serve or the people that uh, work with them, they give them money. So much of the people that do it, it's not because they love it, but because they do it for money. But my problem also is, if you are receiving money so that you can propagate or you can imprint this thought in our kids, and you have decided that you don't want to have kids, you don't want to be married to, to, to a, a woman, and you have made a conscious decision that you don't want to be having kids. You want to live as a woman and who is not going to become a mother, but you want to become a man. Um, why do you want to teach it on my kids when you don't have one? And why do you want the government or the opposition parties or any other party to accept you when one you are not a majority number two you don't want to have kids to me it's a problem so you are a minority africa or democracy is the rule for the people by the people which means that majority rules the minority where are you drawing the line i've been in a number of twitter spaces where opposition leaders including the one that is on bus stop tv when they are asked this question they are not clear. They are always saying we are going to respect everyone. We are going to respect the rights of everyone and the freedoms of everyone. Guys, let's talk about freedom in the context of a warm freedom. You have got your parents and they tell you that you are free to be your child. You are free, yeah. You can sit on the sofa, you can do that, you can watch TV, you can eat food that you want here at this house. But freedoms they have got limitations. For example, we grew up with freedom. Our parents, they would tell us, by 6 p.m., you must be back home. If you are not back at home by 6 p.m., it means that you find the door shut and the parent will tell you, you go back where you were. You are free. It's your, it's your, it's your family home, but you are not allowed. You are supposed to abide by the rules of that family. That is the simple thing. Africa has never been 
uh, accepting this issue of uh, LGBTIQ plus people. He has never accepted that. That's the reason why you saw the Catholic bishops, they unequivocally rejected the call by the Pope to accept this. So by doing so, it shows that the community or the majority, which forms part of the democracy rule, have rejected this. And if they've rejected this, that should settle it. We should not be talking about, hey, they are oppressed or whatever. No. The majority rules the minority. Simple as that. Are we seeing people being harassed? No. But if you just come and you want to um, push your culture on people and say, accept me as I am. I'm sorry, my friend. Even at workplaces, even uh, in any other society. Look at what happened in Qatar. People wanted to go there and wear their, 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 their rainbow movement. And Qatar said no. Everybody respected that. They went there, even what Pierre Pius Morgan and other guys, they were saying, guys, that's their culture. Respect their culture. If you get into people's lives, respect their culture. That's the same thing that people are asking. So if Zimbabweans or other organizations that are in Zimbabwe are accepting money in order to, uh, to proliferate a culture that is anti-Zimbabwean or anti-African, what do you say about that? Do you think that they are being genuine? Or do you think that that's democracy? Do you think that is being woke? Do you think that is being uh, progressive? If people are accepting money in order to teach the kids that there is another side of life that you can enjoy, but this culture is un-African. I accept that culture is dynamic. But I believe that Africa is not yet there into accepting this kind of culture. Of course, I lived in South Africa where this culture has been you know, accepted. But a majority of the people that are there, they don't accept. It was forced on them, which is dictatorship. It's not democracy. Unless we want Africa to be a dictator, state, state, or be a Africa. If we want to say we want dictatorship, then... These things can be forced on us. But as long as we believe in democracy, then democracy should rule the day and democracy should be part of us and we should not be having any debate about the trans people. If they are needed, then democracy should be the one that installs them or um, accepts their rights. Democracy, which is majority, rules the minority. Simple as that. But what do you make of this uh, situa situation where um, opposition leaders are supporting this and they are not unequivocal and straight to say, we don't accept this. They are, you know, bringing nuances. Uh, 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 uh. They are not so clear. I would love to hear your thoughts on that. See you on the next video.